he's going. He's going. I'm gonna go right. I'm an adult virgin. Baila como el papu. Toda la banda. Todo el estadio. Y todo el mundo. Baila como el papu. Che boludo. Che boludo. Che boludo. <laughs> Apparently that could be an insult, but it could also be something that's kind of cool to say. I had a bunch of Argentinian guys come into my stream the other day and they're like, Dwayne, do you know any Argentinian slang? And I did, because we did this Papu Gomez episode like last year or the year before, and I looked up a little bit of Argentinian slang and it's, you say, che boludo, and apparently it means jerk or something like that, but it also could mean bro. What's happening, boys, and welcome to the 86-rated Inform Alejandro, a.k.a. Papu Gomez, one of the more beloved figures on the channel, one of the more beloved cards that we've had every year uh, in Ultimate Team. And this year, uh, he sees him get he sees himself get a plus 27 total in-game stat upgrade over his base 85-rated card. Now, uh, I saw that, and I was like, hold on a second, that can't be right. I mean, obviously, it is a plus one overall upgrade. It goes from 85 to an 86, but only 27 total in-game stat upgrades, uh, uh, four stats go from a yellow to a green rating and then outside of that nothing really too crazy he's literally got the same exact sprint speed on his 85 card uh and then more importantly though every shooting stat goes up plus two so those 27 in game stat upgrades all are packaged in pretty much into upgrades in his shooting stats so uh and then also passing stats go up plus two as well so uh not the greatest upgrade in the world and especially given the fact that he goes for 170 175 000 coins which is seven times the cost of his 85 rated card and and the reason I wanted to make this epi is uh, because we love going back to the Syria, and I want to see how his card plays, period. We haven't tried out the Papu Gomez's regular card, um, and I want to see how he plays up top at striker because this year, he does have himself a decent bit of finishing and composure. The same amount of composure as he, as he had last year, but in FIFA 19, he had 76 finishing, and this year, he ships with 81, which I think is a lot more realistic given his real-life performances. But before we go any further, boys, if you guys do enjoy these player episodes, if you guys are hype, for the Papu Gomez Epi, the, the, the dynamic pick, everything looks beautiful about this card. The Argentina and the Atlanta, just something about that badge and nation combo just works really, really well. If you guys are hyped for this episode, yeah, drop a mad lad like on the video. If you guys are new to the channel, hit that subscribe button down below. So... I alluded to the fact that he is a Tesco Messi. He's the cheap version of Messi this year. Obviously, Messi's card has like, I don't know, 106, uh, 160 total in-game stat upgrades over this. Uh, Papu Gomez literally only has two uh, two or three stats that are better, better than Messi's. Uh, but that's not to say that this card doesn't have some special stats of its own. 95 acceleration, obviously incredible. 85 sprint speed, not incredible top end speed, but he's able to get to 85 very, very quickly. So we're not going to touch any of that. Uh, his attacking positioning goes up to 89 with the sniper cam style. Finishing goes through the roof with the uh, finisher chem style uh sorry with the sniper chem style and then his composure goes up to 89 as well so uh those two stats combined lend themselves to him possibly being a very very good striker in the Serie A. Immobile just came out today so it was a Serie A heavy team of the week number four we've got that Adama Traore which I'm thinking I'm gonna do an epi on I want to see how he plays up top at striker looks absolutely crazy uh 77 shot power 81 long shots decent volleys decent penalties with the sniper chem style and then the passing stats obviously um he can play He's, he looks like he's a really, really good center forward, if I'm being honest with you. Really, really good vision. And then the dribbling stats, obviously, that's what you get this card for. 99 agility, 99 balance, uh, 95 dribbling, and then obviously, like I alluded to, uh, the composure, and then the 90 ball control. Now, the 71 stamina, that is going to be the stat that we're going to pay the most attention to. Uh, what, there's this thing going around where I've noticed it as well, where stamina doesn't really seem to be that big of an issue um, in uh, in FIFA 20 compared to, uh, compared to previous years. Maybe that has something to do with instructions set on certain players, and whether or not that stamina drains more slowly using a specific set of instructions or not that is yet to be determined strength Papu Gomez has never had it so we're never go we're not even going to talk about that stat even though we just did 71 jumping and uh 38 heading accuracy so um what squad are we using we're using a bit of a Tesco a little bit of a Tesco discount squad we've got ourselves uh we've got ourselves Izzo we've got um Herving Lozano we've got Nangolan who we used who I really really like we have 81 Florenzi I think it's an absolute disgrace that he's an 81 rated card we're going with a legend Buffon Kimpembe Bernat Golovin, who I made mention of, I believe, in the Ninga episode. Uh, just a very, very solid looking 82 rated inform card and a decent, decent league as well. And you guys said, Zwei, we need to see Benedetto again, use him in the squad. And that is, of course, what we are doing. We're going back to um, 
Dario Benedetto? Dario Benedetto. Five-star weak foot, three-star skill moves. Great league, great nationality. And then in this instance, obviously links into one of the heroes on the channel, Papu Gomez and Yoraku, who we're going to be using as our other pacey mid on the other side. Let's get on the, uh, let's get onto the virtual pitch. Let's see if these boys have what it takes to get the job done. Let's see if Papu Gomez is anywhere near worth 175,000 coins, given that he's seven times the price of his regular card. Match number one, baila como Papu. His acceleration is rapid and he gets into that 85. Hold on, can we do it? Can we do the Fortnite celebration? No, can't do it. Just can't figure out how to can't figure out how to celebrate. Papu Gomez, you saw the acceleration that he cut out of that break with the um the body faint with him. Uh, as it is every year, seems to be really, really OP. That's probably the skill move that you want to utilize. But dude, his close touch dribbling, um, uh, breaks out of skill moves and stuff like that. Bro, he legitimately looks like Messi on the pitch. Dude, his Josh King is absolutely ripping me up. That's trash. Oh, that was a trash goal to concede. That was my fault, though. I, I let him break. Mario Benedetto. <laughs> the Argentinian connection, boys. Let's go, dudes. Dario Benedetto doing what he does best. The uh, the Chambaludo mad lad, bro. Dario Benedetto, uh, Alejandro Papu Gomez linking up and showing what he can do, bro. Look at the look at the flare on the uh, the back heel pass to Papu, dude. Let's go, dude. Two goals in the first. What is that? Two goals in the first. Two goals in the first thirty minutes. Cheboludo. Bro, he put on a dribbling masterclass. I don't know what he would have to do to justify his 175,000 coin price. Um, he seems very much like a luxury buy right now, given depend uh, given what your your coin total situation looks like. But three shots, three on target for me. A very efficient three shots on target, uh, given that we did bang in two goals. But not a bad little first half from Papu Gomez. As you guys can see, his, his close touch dribbling is easily the best part about his card. In a penal, Papu Gomez has 88, D Dario Benedetto is 92, so that's another positive on his card. De verdad, todo el partido haciéndome regalos. José Penalti! Che boludo. De verdad, todo el partido haciéndome regalos. José Penalti! Mira, no, de verdad, eh, porque a mí su me cae bien, pero me iba del puto partido. ¿Qué es esto, tío? All right, he's going, he's going, I'm going to go right. I'm an adult virgin. I honestly deserves to win. I can't even be mad. I can't even be mad. His Callum Wilson and his Josh King have been tearing me to shreds. The hills of Al Jaid. Nobody fun club? <laughs> what a save. What a save from Theobald Courtois. Maybe one of the only keepers in the game that can do that. <laughs> when Papu Gomez can't get it done, you rely on the Ar you you rely on the other Argentine. You re rely on the other Chebaludo, and it is Dario Benedetto, man. What an absolute badass. First name Dario, same as Dario Tadic, one of our favorite underrated players in the uh, in the game. He's got a nasty freaking Jaguar neck tattoo going down the left side and is finishing five-star weak foot. He can score with either foot. Guy's an absolute hero, man. You get him for under 20,000 coins. One of, one of the best value buys that you can probably get at this stage of the game. No, that's not a pen. Can you just please drive? If you see something... 
Chebaludo Cartois. Where's fears? Oh my god. What are you looking at? What did you see? What is wrong with you? Please stop it! Referee. Bro, sir. There are times in the game where I'm convinced that I've turned off referees. Like I've mistakenly, like Alexa, turn off, you know, turn on referees or something like that. I feel like there's there's moments where there is a setting in FIFA that either turns on or off referees because for the love of God, some of these opportunities that I haven't been given. Oh wow, I, I don't even know. I don't even know what to say to be honest with you. Che boludo. I don't, how does that not, that's, mm, how does that not go to a wide open Raja Nainggolan? Dario Benedetto. When in doubt, Chevaludo it out. <laughs> Yo, boys, we can't be hitting the post like this. Oh God, 2-1. Papu Gomez links it up to Dario Benedetto and he gets himself his second goal of the match. An incredible, incredible poor performance from the Mad Lad himself. I would almost call this like a dual player's way view. Again, anytime we use Dario Benedetto, yeah, he hit the post that one time, but uh, more often than not, this absolute psychomaniac is gonna put him through for you. Bro, and Kai Havertz has a goal and assist for the German national team. Scored his first international goal for Germany, man. So proud of him, dude. And then Papo Gomez. All right, boys, so there you have it. Three games played, and we get, I think, something like four or five goal contributions from the main man himself, Papo Gomez. Uh, finishing, he did all right in the first match. In this in this match here, he didn't provide any uh, goals, but he did provide two assists. And I think that's probably the ultimate way, uh, that's probably the ideal way to pair these two together. Benedetto is the goal scorer. Papo Gomez is the guy that, uh, that kind of stays behind. Or even out wide with a Maestro chem style uh, could be a very, very solid option indeed. But Benedetto, boys, if you want a cheap option, option at striker for a very good league in Ligue 1. Don't look any further than Benedetto, man. He lits it, uh, lits it. He lights it up anytime we use it. Uh, but this was obviously the Papu Gomez Episodia. Now, in terms of value, given that he only has 27 total in-game stat upgrades over his base card, I can't give it any more than 3 out of 5 on the Infinity Gauntlet. On In terms of on-the-pitch performance, I am going to give it a solid 4.5. He's got passing stats, he's got dribbling stats. Stamina did not feel any issues whatsoever uh, with stamina even late in the game um, being an issue. But uh, Papu Gomez is 86 rated card. Again, only 27 total in-game stat upgrades. Again, um, the uh, the shooting and passing stats all go up pretty much by plus two, but it just feels so weird getting an inform card and then the sprint speed not being adjusted at all, like not even a plus one. Um, and I wonder, I wonder, have we ever, is that new? Is that like a new rating system thing for, for FIFA 20? But uh, either way, boys, hopefully this has in some way, shape or form helped you figure out if you want to do this Papu Gomez card, if you want to purchase this Papu Gomez card, I think it'll probably settle uh, for around 150, 160,000 coins. Not a cheap card by any means, but certainly one that has a lot of stats. Even his 85 rated card is a madness. Um, I'm assuming it's a madness given that this 86 rated card was so good for us. But again, three out of five in terms of value and then four out of five in terms of performance. And uh, like I always say, boys hopefully this has helped you in some way shape or form figure out if you want to maybe incorporate this player into your squad or maybe you just want to get a benedetto for a lot cheaper but that is going to do it for the episode hopefully you guys have enjoyed if you did drop a mad lad like on the video if you guys are new to the channel hit that subscribe button down below i will catch you guys for another upload tomorrow till next time bros choose later ade